M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Going to set up our open spot 4 with our Kenwood D75. And we're using my phone as a dashboard just by uh, the IP address or in the browser there. So let's, uh, let's get on and do it. One of the new features of the Kenwood D75 is they've added a hotspot list selection. If we go, if we're in VFO mode, press digital to come out here. So that's VFO mode number one. Number two is memory mode. That's our memory channels, okay? But if we press one, in VFO mode, you can then select DR mode. Just tap digital. And that's DR mode. The bottom selection is, at the moment, my MMDVM hotspot. The top selection is how and what we're going to link to. So hold down the down arrow and you start to access the lists that you can go into to select either a repeater or a hotspot. And one of the lists by default is called hotspot list. If we press enter, I've already got one in there. I know it's called B, that's my MMDVM hotspot. So we can add a new hotspot, which is my open spot. So if we press menu and then go enter for add, we can start to add my open spot. So if I select enter and we're going to type open spot and I'm not going to make you watch all of this but O go across then P and when you're done you just press enter and that's the name done that's the name go down in the sub name you can pretty much put anything so I always ignore that then the call sign that is important you're going to need to put in M0 FXB whatever your guys call sign is space space B so again enter and start to type turn backwards you start to get the numbers so I'm a zero and forward fast forward if it's boring X B And then you need to, this is really important. You go over and over as far as it will go with the right hand arrow and then select B. And that's, it won't work without it. And of course, you need to make sure your call sign's in the radio. I better show you that at the end of this. A, B, enter. Go down one. Exactly the same again, call sign, but at the end you put a G. Trying to go fast. And the scanning on this device is, is super fast, by the way. Just hold down number one. B and then G. G. Okay, enter. We need the frequency of our open spot. I'll show you that on the open spot as well. Ignore lockout for now. Frequency. Press enter. Then go zero. And I'm using four, three, three, nine hundred. There you are. You need all the noughts. Go down one. You have to set a shift. So press enter. Go plus or minus. It doesn't matter. And then go down one again with the down arrow. Enter and put all the noughts in. And then you can put in your location if you want. I'm not going to do it now. And time zone. So then just write. So that's in our list now. I should rename that one really. I call it MMDVM, but anyway, it's in our list. So if we back out completely. Now we still need to stay in digital, hold down the arrow, and then we're gonna go to hotspot list and select our open spot. We've now selected open spot. At the top, we're gonna hold it up. So I'll show you that again. So we've got the top half here. If you want single screen, just go F like so. If we just take a look now at the, the phone settings, hopefully you can see that okay. The nice thing about the open spot, you have this quick setup. So if you press quick here, like so, and go up and select D star, then you can type in the frequency that we put in on our hotspot settings, 433900, just tap it and type. Then select your reflector. We're gonna turn the radio up ready here. So look, one Charlie, and then we're going to click connect. 
And with a bit of luck, we should hear it. Open spot. There it goes. Open spot connected to REF001 Charlie. Let's get my open spot so you can see it. They didn't design these to stand up very well, did they? That's what I always think about the open spot. Okay, we've got it in a little stand there. If you get the newer open spot, you can cross mode. So you would go, same again, quick setup. You'd say that firstly that you're on a D-Star radio. And then you'd have options to change to DMR and C4FM here. But we can't do that because we've only got the open spot 4 model, which is a shame. But anyway, um, of course you can do APRS and all that kind of stuff. But we go to reflector. If we choose a DCS one this time, just for fun. DCS will get you to a lot of places. Let me just find it. Like so. You start to type D C S. Is it gonna let me do it? Nope. Sorry, I'm blind, it was here actually. DCS. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put in 477B. That's Hubnet. That's actually linked to an analog node. Connect. And it should switch us and say, uh, announce out that it's connecting to DCS-477B. Hear the beeping? Open spot connected to DCS-477 Bravo. The other thing we should be able to do is use the actual radio to do it. But when there is a connection, you have a dashboard, you can tap on the dashboard and you can see the QRZ of the of the different stations that are talking. So if we hold the arrow up now, hold it up like that, and this time we'll go to, let's have a look now, reflector. Someone just spoke then, reflector, and we'll go down one, link to reflector. That's historically the people I've already connected to, just listed there, but here it says input, just here. So if we select the AB for input, and we can actually type DCS, XRF. So we go back to reflector, move to the right, put in the number, say one Charlie, to the right again, B or CL, then press enter. And now key, it should make the open spot switch across. M0FXB test. So give that a second, and it should switch across. It says overloaded, but it is retrying. My guess is that there's someone already talking on one Charlie and it's just waiting for a gap. Open spot connected to REF001 Charlie. That's it. We're now connecting. If we hold it up, see if we can get a contact. So let me just, you hold it up. This list comes. Let's just see if the echo test works a minute. We we'll do the echo. So what you do, hold it up. Someone there now. <laughs> Reflector, echo, and then just go M0 FXB echo test. M0 FXB echo test. Excellent. There's someone there, look, and let's go up again. And we can go to reflector. We can actually go reflector info. And when we key, it will just give us, tell us what we're connected to. There you go, it unlinked. Probably a bit messy doing it when someone's talking. But I think that's it, really. You get the idea. You hold up. You've got a few other selections there. When you're talking, you want to put it on. You hold it up. If it's a reflector, really, you want it on use reflector. And then people are going to hear you. We're back on one Charlie. And it will... Remember, this hotspot... Or this 75 will, if you go to dual band, and I on the B section, put in my local node for, actually you have to press enter, so go back, enter, 434550, five, enter, go back on the A section. Now if someone speaks, we're going to hear them both at the same time. There you are, look, two stations at the same time. And you can actually adjust the the balance of the of the audio as well, so you you can decide which one is louder. Just 
press, I think it's nine. And look, you can you can go with the B bands louder, you know, there's a percentage at the top, or the A band. It's pretty good, isn't it? Operation band only. Hmm. You can make it so it's single audio as well by the looks of it. A band, B band. I'll leave it in the middle for now. You get 100, 100. And that's that's really handy as well. One of the other new additions is they've added is that the B section will actually do digital mode. So if you go B and see if I can get it to do it. Press digital. So you've now got you've now got the ability to listen to two hotspots. So if you're on the A band, that's my open spot. B band, it's still my open spot. But if I go down and then go back to my hotspot list. And then select the B, which is my MMDVM hotspot. So on the A band, we've got my open spot. On the B band, we've got my MMDVM. We can actually receive two hotspots at the same time. F right. Zero. We've dug out my Charlie. other hotspot. <laughs> Just having fun here. And this is why, you know, you buy, you change to the 75 from the 74. Because you get these extra extra little features that you can tinker with so at the moment we are linked to both so let's uh, we just need someone to speak now um, we could try and do the audio test so on the B, B band we hold up and, oh there's someone speaking there hang on a minute if I connect the bottom let's go B I'm just confusing myself so B Hold up, and we're going to go to call history. I'm going to go to, let me think now. And that's just, that's your call signs. Reflector. Link, and then we're going to go back to 477BL, which is D star. I'll link that in. You'll see my, here. Link to X, L, X, 4. Seven, seven, B. And then we've got my open spot on the A band. If you get the green screen, if you want to get rid of it, just press menu and it goes. But on the A band, and that's on the A and B. So if, the, if someone speaks on both at the same time, this is JR1, Fox Victor Kilo. You will hear it. Morning, I'm just going to wait for someone. Uh, thank you very much. You can see the open you spot is flashing away quite nicely now. Over here in oh, they're in uh, Tokyo. JR4, FCT, JR1, FDK. See if I can get someone to speak on Hubnet. Thank you very much for coming. Hubnet's on the B band. No, no one's speaking at the moment. Oh well, it's been fun, but it does. They, you know, it does dual receive. I've got my little Malahit DSP2 in the background here, doing a bit of HF. Sounding great. Thank you, are listening for any joiners. Bye for now. Please like and subscribe. 7-3.